What a rush. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Rush, 2013 film starring Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Brew. This is about the coveted rivalry between James Hunt and Nicky Lauder. The movie itself is one of the best Formula One slash best sports movies that's been made in a long time. I remember seeing this in theaters and thinking this looks like it has kind of the budget of an indie, which it did in a sense. It had a very minimal budget in terms of what Ron Howard's used to. It wasn't as lucrative of a budget as you would think considering what the movie's about, what the components of the film are about, but what was really well done was how the story was told and how the rivalry between these two became a bond that is beyond that of normal kind of rivalry. It was something that was heated for years. Whereas though they only had one year really of rivalry in F1, but it was still one of the most intense rivalries in F1 history, and it lasted barely over a year, technically speaking, but it's so coveted, and this film goes into detail as to why it was such a great rivalry. Both of the characters are done extremely well. James Hunt is played really well by Chris Hemsworth, basically playing a guy on the edge of death and kind of playing off that playboy style and having that extra dimension of vulnerability and somewhat self-reflection as he goes through the film, he realizes that just his exact focus is just beating Nikki. Whereas on the other hand, Nikki is actually an asshole, but he's not wrong. And we see why Nikki Lauda was so lauded in the entire F1. We see why he was such a phenomenal champion. We see why him coming back into Mercedes for the last five years before he passed is one of the reasons why Mercedes is as big and as powerful of a F1 team as they are right now. Nicky Lauder is essentially an engineer and a driver at the same time, and he views everything at risk. He views everything in percentages. They almost kind of portray him as though he might have been autistic or slightly on the spectrum, considering just how matter of fact he is. And what's probably one of the best parts about this film is that while these two are shown for their strengths and their weaknesses, you care about both of them equally. You want to see both of them succeed, but at the same time, you're kind of wondering which one you'd rather side for. And when it comes to the crash that affected Nicky Lauder's life forever, you would think that the tables would change. You think your sympathy would go towards Nicky, but it still stays even considering what's happening. And it's a great movie for that reason. I enjoy the dynamic between the two fantastic acting between the two really interesting camera work i think this is one of ron's best movies in a long damn time i think this is is the best movie he made in the last decade in my opinion and then there's the race scenes i remember seeing this in the theaters all those years back the next day i went out to a go-kart place because i was still feeling that adrenaline rush from this film it's crazy to see how f1 has changed because these cars look so weird back in the 70s. But they're still hammering out speed and the film encapsulates that need for speed, that drive to go faster than the rest and the danger. Formula One has gotten safer since, but it's still a dangerous sport and it was even more dangerous back in the day. So they really don't shy away from that, especially one of the first car accidents you see. Technically, a dude got his head cut off. In the end, Rush is one of the best movies about F1 to watch. It has a great duo, it has great storytelling, it has great car scenes, and it really encapsulates the idea of what F1 was and the want for fast cars and to beat the rest. In the end, I'm going to give Rush a 6 out of 7. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I would really suggest it. It's a very, very good movie. While there are some parts that are not 100% historically accurate, Ron Howard is known for kind of dipping a little bit into fiction here and there. It still stays pretty close to certain things. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.